right, welcome to this module. Um, I'm actually going to do the rendering. Um, I know that you've been told to use a pen, uh, pencil, sorry, but I'm going to use a pen. And there's a couple of methods to render. Of, obviously, there's the linear, and because I'm using a pen, I am going to do the cross hatching method, okay? Um, because it's easier. So, what I have here is um, the 20 mm by 100 mm. Uh, five squares. Uh, I'm going to show you what I've done and uh, the final result that I'm going to get is actually like this. Okay, as you can see the shading is done uh, gradually from one uh, lightest all the way to the darkest. Okay, so uh, how I'm going to do it is uh, I'm going to draw it this way. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use a ballpoint pen, the, you know, the normal kind. Uh, not the gel one because it's, you can't really shape with them uh, and then you're gonna do like lightly okay so when you first start uh, I'm gonna shade it lightly okay this is a bit okay since uh, I'm gonna cross hatch all the way using a single tone I keep the pen moving all the time laying a very even uh, cross hatching uh, a line all through to the end Okay, for pencil or pen rendering, you can always move the paper conveniently uh, to suit the angle that you want. Now, since I already laid it in this 45 degrees, I'm going to lay the second one this manner so that I can see that I am leaving, leaving up behind a very even sort of uh, uh, coat of uh, you know, uh, lines. Okay, so I'm going to do this second layer quickly. Okay, all the way to the end. Okay, now this is first, second, and I'm going to third. So third, I'm going to do the horizontal method. Okay, quickly. All the way to the end. Obviously, you can see that there are gaps, so I'm going to fill up the gaps. Okay, all the way to the end. Okay, now, you can see that first, second, third, and I'm going to do the fourth and the fifth. Uh, I'm going to shade it now. Again, cross-hatching. And the last one, this way. Okay, now I'm laying it quite thick over it so that uh, I get a nice darker shade. And I may have to do it again. Uh, and this is really going to be very dark. Okay, we have to do another one just to get a darker shape. Okay, this is really solid blue color. Okay, so after I'm done, I'm going to redraw the lines to sort of clean up. Okay, clean up edges and define the boundaries of the each of the square. So there you have it, the shades are uh, using from pencil uh, or pen, in this case from what uh, light to darkest. Okay, welcome to the second part. I am going to do the rendering of the shape that you could get uh, when you're doing the the, the two um, boxes that you get there, all right? Uh, we always assume that the light is coming from the top right hand corner, so the, the light will come from here, and there's a light bulb, okay? Okay, so assuming that it's gonna be shining onto this. So definitely this is this surface, all the, the top surface will be, will be light, so I'm gonna label them as one, okay? And then the, this is obviously going to be 5 because it's the darkest. It is 5, this is 5, this is 5. And then this is going to be 3, 3, 3, and 3. Okay, looking from the, from this uh, light source. Okay, so this is what you get. Okay, so very simple, that's that. Um, the final rendering that you get is definitely something that I've done. Uh, it's slightly like this. Okay, so you can see that the light source is from the top. This is light. 
right? This is medium, and then the dark is at the few corners. Okay, same for the other one. All right, the other one, please think about this is trying to be a curve, uh, uh, con concave curve. If you want to make a sort of bulging surface, you can also see it, but you can see that there's a graduated uh, surface. Okay, now, so what I'm going to do now is very simple. Um, I'm going to use the other piece. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Okay, so I'm going to start. Uh, by laying a uh, even shade all around, lightly. Let me shift the paper a little bit to suit my hand to move. So this is okay. Shape one that is going all around the whole piece. Okay, don't worry if the pencil marks uh, or the pen marks fall out, it's okay. Right, this is level 1. Okay, so that will be level 1 here, here, here and here. Okay, so I'm going to do the level uh, 3 next, which is this. Okay, so I'm going to shade it to the paper a little bit and gently just shade in the okay, 3. So I'm going to just lay that over. Okay, this one. And last but not least, this other surface. So you see that pen, I can uh, do a quick rough sketch of this then now I'm gonna do the same thing for this side because this is a uh, level th five so I'm gonna shake in this is a very big surface so it's a bit challenging to do all the way without hitting and controlling it to hit it inside nicely So now I'm going to shade it again to give a closer, tighter uh, number of lines, closer grid, so that it's very dark. Okay, so here we go. This is going to be okay. So looking from look check back again. Uh, sorry, this way. This is this one, and I'm going to do this one. Okay, keep your pen moving, keep the pencil moving, and you should be able to do a very nice cross hatching, uh, and you should be able to do it easily. Okay, so this is another one. I'm just doing a very quick one. After that, try to clean up the edges. Okay, now because it's not fifth, so I'm gonna do another uh, closer rendering surface on all this. Okay, it's about number of lines, so get the lines to be really close to one another. Okay, same for this one. Okay, so there you have it. So I'm going to clear up all the white spaces that I have left.
so therefore you have it. So now I'm going to use my ruler to clean up the edges again to darken. Okay, so the lines will look crisp and nice. Okay, so there you have it, very nicely rendered uh, cube, okay, hope you can have uh, fun doing this uh, exercise. Okay, welcome back to another episode of this. Uh, I, I see that some of you have problems trying to do the, uh, you know, rend uh, drawing of the isometric uh, uh, cubes onto the perspective. So I'm just going to do a quick tutorial how to do it. Now, this is the horizon line. Okay, and this is left known as the left vanishing point and the right vanishing point. Okay, now. Whichever box you draw, okay, always take note that the points will always disappear to the left and to the right. So I'm going to project a line. I'm going to draw a very light line. Okay. Okay. And this is the vertical line. And any other box, okay, for example, the, the first question one, which is this is 30. And if this is 30, this has to be 40, so I'm going to visually estimate the distance. This is too much, this is too little, this is something like 40. So I'm going to draw a line here. And now this is 50. So if I'm going to... This seems to be right, 50, so I'm going to draw a line here. And after this is done, what I do is I will have to project a line. Okay, from here to here, and from here to this side. Okay, and this will form the overall picture of my cube. Alright, now the center part, this part is is about, is 40, right? So the center part is about 20, so I'm going to visually estimate this is 20. And it goes down to half of the, of the, of the cube, so this is about half, okay, about half. So I'm going to draw a line lightly, okay, and then I'm going to project a line vertically downwards to here, okay. So this is my going to be my the cube that I'm going to draw. Okay, now this line goes all the way back. So this is the line that you need to draw. One, two. Okay, and this part here is 25. So it's visually going to be half. Okay, visually going to be half. And then you must project the line to the left vanishing point. Okay, and therefore you will get this. And I'm going to darken the line now. Okay, and you would complete your top surface that you need to draw. Okay, now what about the bottom part? Obviously, project to the right vanishing point again, and the line will disappear. What about this line? It's vertically down. Okay, so I'm going to just finish up the top surface of the box. Okay. Now, what is missing here is the little corner at the 10mm at the bottom, okay, which I'm going to draw now. 10mm, this is 30, so 10mm, this is roughly it, and I'm going to project a line down, okay, this way, roughly, and it has to be down that way. So this is the box that I need to draw, okay. So I hope you can see it. It's very simple. Now, if you want to render this, then... This is going to be quickly done. Giving the whole thing a one level one shape. Okay. Then this is going to be level three. Level three.
Okay, I am going to create some nice little texture there. And this is going to be level 5. So, really dark. Okay, really dark. So, you now you see why pen is so useful because you can actually create very nice te textures using just one pen. Okay, so this is done very quickly and very effectively done. Okay, just to give a nice Okay, so there you have it, the box wonderfully done. Hope you can that will help you in your drawing of isometric drawing.